Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is k times k times k minus k times k this is equal to 100. What is the value of k? Now solution from here we have k times k times k this is k to power 3 subtract k times k which is k to power 2 this is equal to 100. The next step is let's take 100 on the left hand side so that we have k to power 3 subtract k to power 2 subtract 100 this is equal to 0. Now to solve this problem we are going to use rational root theorem rational root theorem to solve this problem we are going to use rational root theorem whereby we are going to identify some integers that satisfies this cubic function among a um, set of constant terms. So from here we have this cubic function k to power 3 minus k to power 2 subtract 100 this is equal to 0. So let's start with the first integer equal to k1 equal to 0. Let's start with k1 equal to 0. Let's fix 0 here and check if this 0 satisfies the equation. So here we have 0 to power 3, subtract 0 to power 2, subtract 100. This, this is equal to 0. So from what we have here, we find that neg negative 100 is not equal to 0. Let's now try k2 which is equal to 1 so here we have 1 to power 3 minus 1 squared minus 100 this is equal to 0 now here we have 1 minus 1 which is 0 so here we have negative 100 this is not equal to 0 so k k1 and k2 does not satisfy the equation so let's move to k3 that is k3 which is equal to 2 so let's substitute 2 into this cubic function so that now we have 2 to power 3, subtract 2 to power 2, subtract 100, this is equal to 0. So this is 2 to power 3, this is 8, minus 2 squared, which is equal to 4, subtract 100, this should give us a value of 0. So 8 minus 4, this is 4, 4 minus 100, this is negative 96 which is not equal to 0. So let's proceed to k, that is let's move to k4, which is equal to 3. Let's fix, uh, let's substitute uh, 3, so that we'll have 3 to power 3, subtract 3 to power 2, subtract 100, this should be equal to 0. 3 to power 3, this is 27, subtract 3 squared, which is 9, subtract 100, this should be equal to 0. So 27 minus 9, we have 18, then 18, subtract 100, this is equal to minus 82, which is not equal to 0. Let's move to k5, which is equal to 4. So here we have 4 to power 3, subtract 4 to power 2, subtract 100 this should be give us a value of 0 so 4 to power 3 here this is the same thing as 48 subtract 4 squared which is 16 subtract 100 this should give us a value of 0 48 minus 16 this is equal to 32 32 minus 100 this is equal to negative 68 which is not equal to 0 now, the next step here is to move to k6, which is equal to 5. So, let's substitute k equal to 5 into this cubic function. So that now, here we have k, two, that is 5 to power 3, subtract 5 to power 2, subtract 100, this should give us a value of 0. So, 5 to power 3, this is 125, subtract 5 squared, this is 25, subtract 100 this should give us a value of 0 
125 minus 25, this is 100. 100 minus 100, this is equal to 0, which is equal to 0. So the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. So that means K6, which is equal to 5, satisfies the equation. So 5 is one of the solution. This is one of the real solution. Now, to solve this cubic function, we solve by applying the synthetic division as follows. Given that k6, which is equal to 5, satisfies the uh, equation, or satisfies the equation, eh? now to solve for the other values of k, we are going to use the synthetic division. Let's use the synthetic division here. So now we have that we have that 5 is one of the solution here. Let's now write down the coefficient of this cubic function here. So we have 1, that is 4, coefficient of k to power 3. Then we have minus 1, that is the coefficient of k squared. Then we have, we don't have k here, so we plug in 0. And then we have the constant, which is negative 100. So let's drop this one here. So we have 1. Then we just say 5 times 1. So we have 5 here. So we say negative 1 plus 5 so that we have 4. And then we say 5 times 4. This is equal to 20. Then 0 plus 20. This is equal to 20. Then 5 times 20. This is 100. Then you say negative 100 plus 100. This is equal to 0. Essentially, these are the coefficient. These are the coefficient of the quadratic equation. These are the coefficient of the quadratic equation. So, in other words, we have used the synthetic division to reduce this cubic function into a quadratic equation or quadratic function. In other words, so from here we can deduce a quadratic equation, which is k squared plus 4k plus 20. This is equal to 0. Now, this is our quadratic equation, so let's solve for the other values of k by applying the, by applying the quadratic formula, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, all this divided by 2 times a. So from this quadratic equation, we have that a is equal to 1, b is equal to 4, and we have that c is equal to 20. Let's substitute these values of a, b, and c so that we have minus 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 4 squared, which is 16, subtract 4 times a, which is 1, times c which is 20 everything here divided by 2 times 1 let's proceed here we have minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 20 times 4 which is 80 all this divided by 2 now let's proceed here we have minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 80. This is minus 64 divided by 2. So now the next step here, we have minus 4 plus or minus. We can express the square root of negative 64 as 64 times negative 1. All this divided by 2. So here we have minus 4, plus or minus. Now, the square root of 64, this is 8. The square root of minus 1, this is i, then divided by 2. So now we can factor out 2 here, so that we'll have 2 into the bracket, negative 2, plus or minus 4i, divided by 2. So let's simplify 2 and 2 here, so that now we have minus 2, plus or minus 4i. 
So this is what is K2, comma, K3. So that implies that K1 is equal to negative 2 plus 4i. And we have K3. This is negative 2 neg minus 4i. So these are two complex solutions to this algebra problem. These are two complex solutions here. So we are saying that we have two complex solutions, two complex solutions here. That is K2, which is minus 2 plus 4i, and then K3, which is minus 2 minus 4i. We only have one real solution, that is K1, which is essentially equal to 5. Okay. So, the final step here is to verify. Let's verify this. So, if you recall here, if you recall, we end that K times K times K subtract K times K. This should give us a value of 100. So k is 5, so we have 5 times 5 times 5, subtract 5 times 5, this should give us 100. So 5 times 5 times 5, this is 125, subtract 25, this should give us a value of 100. So 125 minus 25, this is 100, which is equal to 100. And therefore, the left and side is equal to the right add side. And that implies that we have three solutions here, only one real solution and two complex solutions here, K2 and K3. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>